Bro, hippos are wild. These barrel-shaped, bodied, fearsome, jawed, semi-aquatic behemoths dominate the riverbanks of the sub-Saharan Africa. But there's so much more to these creatures that meets the eye. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as I avoid the yap and get to the elaboration for you on this video. The hippo is often referred to as the river horse due to its high affinity for water and massive stature. The hippo is the third largest land mammal behind the rhinoceros and the elephant. Their closest living relative is often misconceived to be the pig. You know, they look like a, just a massive steroided out pig. But matter of fact, they're actually closely related to the whale and the dolphin. And about 55 million years ago is when they deviated in the evolutionary tree. When I was a kid, some jamoke in my class told me that hippos were actually at the top of the food chain and everything else was cap. I believed it. I was flabbergasted. And unfortunately, I found out that it's not true. But that doesn't mean that they aren't absolute units and still high up in the food chain and able to defend themselves against some of the best predators. They real deal have some of the most unique physical attributes that help them survive. And I will elaborate on all of these physical attributes for you for free right now. First and foremost, you assume that most semi-aquatic animals can swim, and it's true, but hippos cannot swim. You heard that, hippos cannot swim. Oh, that surprises you. Yeah, it does. You like when I surprise you. You love to be surprised, don't you? Hippos are actually so dense that rather than floating, they sink to the bottom of whatever body of water they're in, and they walk on the bottom of that body of water. That's how they move off the ground, they don't swim. This might sound unideal, but it's actually optimal. If you think about semi-aquatic animals such as ducks, they have fins, they have flukes, they have webbed feet, these are compromising to their land ability. Yeah, they can swim better, but they can't move as well on land. Given that they don't have these limitations, they can run up to 28 miles per hour. That's 45 kilometers per hour for my London bros. Do you understand how fast that is? Usain bro runs 27.33 miles per hour top speed. Hippos are faster than Usain Bro. The only difference is hippos weigh 3,000 pounds or 1,400 kg again for my London bros. It's absurd. Another defense mechanism of the hippo is two inch skin. Oh, two inch skin, what, who cares? Lions, crocodiles, tigers, whatever's trying to claw at them, it doesn't affect them. Their skin is too thick, so if they try to bite or claw, doesn't matter. I've seen a video of a hippo, he's just toting his body along and he's getting mauled by a bunch of tigers and he doesn't care. He just keeps trotting about. You might see hippos, eyes, ears, nose, right above the water. What's the point of that? This allows them to keep all of their sensory activities going while cooling their bodies from that hot African climate. If they're not in water, they release an oily, reddish, pinkish sweat that acts as a natural sunscreen. That's why you see pictures of hippos and sometimes they look pink, sometimes they look gray. That's why, you're welcome. Hippos also live in the herd mentality. They move around in a group called a pod. It's usually led by one dominant male followed by a couple of females and the rest usually calves. Another cool aspect about hippos, they're herbivores. I know, vegans, am I right? <coughs> You ever seen those videos of a hippo just mangling like a watermelon in just one gulp, just absolutely obliterating it? It's crazy. Also, they eat about 80 pounds of grass a day. 35 kg for the London bruvs. Maybe that's why they call them hungry, hungry hippos. How do these massive animals eat only plants, but they get so huge, and then humans can eat all this junk food and comparatively, even though there's some obese humans out there, they're never gonna get as big as a hippo. How does that work? Well, I actually know the answer to that, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna gatekeep it for another video. Stay tuned, Enzo elaborate. Subscribe, like, comment, you already know. Another unique element of hippos is that they're ecosystem engineers, also known as keystone species. These are animals that contribute to building and optimizing a given ecosystem. Think of beavers, for example, building up dams, redirecting water, helping chop down trees. How are hippos ecosystem engineers? They create channels within swamplands and their feces is actually nutritious for some of the fish in these swamplands. Ecology. 
Me personally, I wouldn't be partaking in eating no other animal's feces, but that's just me. I don't know about y'all. Hippos live about 40 years on average, and their gestation period is about eight months. So in theory, they should be reproducing just fine. Hippos exist mostly in Africa, where they kill about 500 humans a year. They're definitely not rocking with us, but they don't live only just in Africa. Obviously, you have hippos and zoos around the world, but they're gaining prevalence in South America. Thanks to Pablo Escobar? Pablo Escobar had a huge zoo at his compound, and when he died in 1993, they rummaged through, collected all the animals, and moved them to different zoos. Four animals escaped, and they were all hippos, one male and three females. Since then, they've breeded, and as of today, there's an estimated 140 cocaine hippos roaming around Colombia. Yeah, they call them cocaine hippos. You seen that movie Cocaine Bear? Wasn't for me. Maybe cocaine hippo could be better. As we mentioned, hippos do a good job of defending themselves, and there's not really a natural predator for them. So if they continue to breed, they're really getting involved in parts of Colombia that they shouldn't probably be in. They're causing some serious damage over there. So that problem would probably be good to get under control. But how do you move a hippo? And what do you do with a hippo? Anyway, I just hit you with a ton of knowledge. As I always do, I try to bring the facts. I try to minimize the yap. The idea was brought to me by Chuck Jandek, who told me he was watching a video of a hippo mangling a lion on Twitter. They really let you post whatever on Twitter these days. Anyway, keep the ideas coming. I'll keep the elaboration coming. And until then, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next elaboration banger.